This is Boston Lanka News, so bringing you news, views and entertainment from Boston and USA. I'm Vioni Dume. Everything's going to be okay, Abby. We got the seal right here. I trust you, Walt. I can't wait to see you. We're going to explore the entire world together. Naveen Ratnayaka moved to the U.S. in the late 90s with his family and began studying theater and performing arts, including dancing. He enrolled in famed Stella Adler Academy and studied various acting techniques and styles under many renowned acting teachers, including Dr. Patrick Fennell and Steve Anthony. Naveen joins us from California. Naveen, uh, tell us how you began an interest in acting and theater. Uh, yeah, uh, first of all, let me take a moment and uh, thank you and Vioni and, uh, and the great service that you guys are doing. And uh, it's, uh, uh, I mean, uh, we heard quite a lot about your network and for the opportunity you guys provide to all the community members and not only myself, for everybody else and kind of trying to bridge the gap and keeping people up to date in the US. And uh, I would like to commend you guys on that. And uh, going back, uh, how that happened to me was it's, it's quite different to say, uh, I mean, obviously I have a huge background. Uh, my dad being Somi Ratnayaka and my mom being Su Susila Ratnayaka. I mean, uh, it's, uh, but it really didn't, it didn't, didn't really make an impact on me until very later on. I mean, it, it, it had it in me, but little that I knew that, I mean, it took me a while, so to speak. Uh, how I got, uh, got interested in acting, to me, it was actually dancing was my first love. I was doing a lot of dancing. I mean, I really didn't want to act. And me being a teenager in Sri Lanka, it wasn't really like, I mean, I grew up in it. I mean, pretty much all the people that came about to our house and everything, and somebody, you know, somebody in the industry. I remember uh, going to see a play at the state, uh, Sri Lankan state festival, drama festival. Uh, I, I went to see a play, uh, Ottukare, by Jayanti Chandrasiri. And I saw uh, Kamal Adhwarachi uh, acting in it. I mean, I've seen him act quite a lot on TV and in movies and such, but I saw him completely differently. I mean, it was com it, to me, it was completely different experience. I mean, to me, he was like totally new actor. I mean, what he did on stage was quite fascinating. I mean, I was like, oh, that would be cool. I mean, I would like to do that. But I, but nothing really actually happened. I mean, I saw the play and everything was great. And, um, and then I went on about my life. But then I moved to US. And, uh, and one day, uh, I, w I was I was taking computer, I was studying computers. And uh, I was thinking, you know, it just became a little too boring. I just needed something a little more exciting. So I start taking a piano class. So uh, I was in the piano class and one of the girls that, I, that was in the class with me, I mean, she, uh, she, she was a dancer and she was, she was doing a show in the campus and she kind of gave me an invitation. If you, hey, if you like, you can come, I mean, you can come by and you, you can watch it. So, so then I went. And uh, I mean, I was watching the show and kind of like that old dance and old performing, the urge to do it, old desire and, you know, and everything kind of came back, kind of grabbed me. So it kind of found me rather than me going after it. Uh, what's your involvement in theater in the U.S.? Well, right. I mean, uh, so uh, once I got into dancing, I mean, I was doing quite a lot of dancing and, and then it 
felt like I need I need to some find something more. I need something more, and I I, I had the urge to express myself. So at the same time, we start watching movies, and we I mean I mean I remember my dad talking about all the great actors he used to follow. And I mean, all the great movies. I mean, that was like the talk of the family. When we get together at dinner and all that time, and what we talk about is like movies, like acting and, you know, like theater, like art itself. I mean, so I start auditioning and going to the plays and, um, and like, I just kind of kept on. And uh, I remember for the first time I auditioned for a play in the campus called Imp- the Oscar Wilde's Importance of Being Earnest. And I and I uh, and I got a small part in it. I was really excited. I didn't really, didn't really tell my parents about it either. And uh, and I got casted. Then I told, hey, you know what? I mean, I got casted in a play, and they were really excited. And they were actually happy for me. But I was I was really shy, and I really didn't tell it, them. I actually tell them about it. And I kind of kept. I mean, kept at it. I mean, just uh, uh, from after that, I. Uh, did uh, Neil Simon's Rumors, where, where I landed the uh, leading part of uh, Ken Gorman. And uh, Bells Are Ringing, 42nd Street, Hairspray, The Best Little Whole House in Texas. And kind of, kind of, I mean, just, you know, just went on from that. And everything was great, but I still felt like, hey, there's something more I can do. Now I really needed to study. I mean, I needed to understand that uh, if I'm going to do it, I need to do it right. So I start studying on techniques, the methods and different acting teachers, what they had to offer. So I start, start taking acting seriously and start looking at it as like a more of a science to me. I wasn't really like a good science student at high school, but this became my science. So I, um, I kind of went at it. That I would like to go out and see what works, what works for actors, what they do right. If I look, if I just look at a great performance, and I would go and research on that actor's background and see what he did, and what kind of method he studied, and what kind of technique they use, and how things work, and what works and what won't work. So this is kind of fascinating to me, and so this is the whole idea that. I'm in it, and so kind of like a still a student, I'm still fascinated about that, and uh, just completely different aspect of performing and acting. It's just more of like uh, knowing what you're doing and how you want to do it. Sister, she's gone. You killed her. You killed in work, Roman. Look at her eyes. Look at her. Wait. She's moving. Uh, as you said, Naveen, uh, your parents, uh, Somi Ratnaika and uh, Susila Ratnaika, have been involved in stage drama and films in Sri Lanka. Talk about growing up as a child and their influence in you. Yeah, um, it really had a huge impact on me, but I really didn't know about it. I mean, it was only, I mean, not only un, 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 only after when I was like 25, I only realized that hey, you know, I mean, I have this huge background. It wasn't something. I mean, me and my brother, we just regular kids, so we wasn't really any uh, any kind of. Uh, I mean, the, I mean, to us, there was like like no glory around it. I mean, for us, it's just like it's just a way of life. I mean, we knew who, I mean, pretty much everybody that we meet, see on a day-to-day basis is pretty much like an, either an actor, director, writer, musician. So those are the people who would come and go. I mean, uh, you can ask my mom. I mean, she always said, I mean, when we were in Sri Lanka, we would never close our door. It was always open because it's like pretty much like a, a throughout the day, there's someone going in and out. So uh, we... I mean, I wasn't really aware of that. So uh, only when I, uh, as I grew up, I realized that, I mean, this is who we are. It, but it took a while. So the influence was really big. It had a huge impact on me because I would see my dad act and I was really proud of him of what he did. 
and people talking about him but we but we but when we were little we didn't really realize that he you know who he was actually i mean so i mean the impact he made it came really at not till like i mean only yet maybe i was 25 26 maybe when i realized that hey you know what i mean this is this is our heritage i mean this is what we need to carry on and uh, but it did make a huge impact on, on me but at the same time it took a while obviously from my mom she's being the actress dancer uh, complete all around that she is and my dad then uh, obviously uh, it's in you it's kind of in your blood but it kind of had to find me i mean i i don't think i would ever realize what i had unless i i mean only after i became interested in acting i actually knew i mean to have found the true value so to speak uh, if i'm not mistaken and navin your first appearance in a film in sri lanka as a child actor when you were about 5 years old do you have any memories on that experience yeah it was uh, it was actually the memory that i have of that i mean the best memory i have of it is that the not the movie itself uh mervin jayathun the mervin uncle to me uh i mean the great late great great character actor mervin jayathun i mean he he was a family friend of ours and he was actually in the movie with my dad and my dad i actually played the son to my dad i mean he played the uh, the bear movie was based on the real life podi vijay who was the crime figure and my dad played the uh, inspector who would track down and finally catch him and uh, yeah i mean the memory that i have is the, like mervin uncle had to babysit me he would do all the daddy work to me so i mean i mean he, the later on in life as i grew up he would always tease me hey i remember you i did this to you and that so the memory i have from the movie is that not just the movie itself i remember a couple of things about the movie i remember like i was reading a book and they asked me to hey raise your head up and that's about it that's the only memory i have but the uh, the time that i spent with mervin uncle my dad and that whole ride was quite fascinating and it's still to this day Mervin uncle passed away a long time ago and we would see him in a party or somewhere in a gathering outside he would always tease me hey i remember you and, and it was it was truly a magic i mean lovely moment to me uh, what about other acting roles uh, you have done in sri lanka before you came to us i did appear in a few movies i mean as a child actor made few cameos uh, i was in my dad's film chitti i played the young chitti Uh, it was released around like 93 94 i believe and uh, also uh, 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 director pradeep nishant is valley sulanga i also played a, another child part of a child actor and a couple of the stage productions and also uh, one moment i one, one one great memory i have of myself as a child actor when i i was, I was actually a teenager i was offered this part as like a leading uh, like a teenage character in a tv show alongside my uh, mom she played the leading lady in the uh, teledrama but i i was offered the like leading teen character i remember that i said yes to the part and i agreed to do it and when then we went to the shoot and the first day of the shoot i just refused to do it just because i was so shy because i was growing up i was 13 14 15 16 years old and and uh, it was like i mean we just took the uh, public transportation to school and we would just hang out with kids and all our friends and to me it wasn't it wasn't really a fancy thing to do i was really shy what would they think of me i mean they would start making fun of me and all that so I, i i became quite shy right in the set at location and i just simply refused to do it and the first day of the shoot i refused to do it and they had to actually bring another guy to do it and they actually had they actually gave me a small part and i agreed to do that part not that big character that would go on in the whole play and the good thing happened i mean someone else got a chance but i mean 
at that time, that was my mentality. I mean, it was like acting, that was like the last thing in my mind. But she turned on me. She latched onto my arm and wouldn't let go. I fought with her. Finally, I broke her neck. Then she stopped moving. Uh, what are your current film or acting projects uh, that you are involved in? I got to know these great, two great, uh, I mean, they're, friend, they're friends of mine uh, now. I mean, uh, this uh, writer, Monica Bryant, and uh, the director, John Wayne Marshall. I got, I mean, I had the chance to meet them. I mean, a friend of mine, another fellow uh, fellow actor, he said, hey, maybe there's a part, if you're interested in, you can go audition. And they're having this uh, audition for this TV web pilot called Chronicles of the Dead. And he, I kind of, I, I just kind of went to them and we kind of talked and they kind of told me about the part. And this is kind of the part that we are looking for, kind of the actor that we are looking for. If you're interested, I can kind of show you the script, but there's going to be an audition, so you can have an audition. So uh, I said, yeah, and uh, I went to the audition and they casted me in the part of uh, Walter Knight, who uh, the character itself, he, 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 he's like the leader of a zombie group. He's kind of building his own army to fight his own demons, so to speak. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm really excited. We just wrapped up shooting and uh, it's a 10 episode TV pilot web series, but they have plans of bring, uh, building it up and maybe try to build, build it up to a point that they can sell it to maybe to like a, who knows, maybe to like a, some kind of a TV company and we see, we'll see how it goes. Um, are there any uh, future films, television, or theater projects that you are talking or planning these days? Right now, I spend a lot of time uh, promoting myself, kind of bringing myself, like putting myself out as an actor. My whole idea is I really want to work, I kind of want to work globally. I just want, don't want to limit myself just to here. Or I, want to, I, I would like to work in Sri Lanka. I would like to work in uh, with some great, I mean, there are some up and coming film directors in Sri Lanka. I would love to work with them. And uh, so I'm kind of putting the groundwork for that. At the same time, I was actually supposed to be, I'm, I'm actually involved in the production right now. Uh, the the project itself, it's, it's still not titled. I mean, they still don't have any name to it. Uh, but it's, it's, it's to be shot around March of next year. It's, I believe it's a 100 episode TV show to be shown in Sri Lanka. And that's, prob uh, that's the main project that I'm working on right now. We, I mean, I have, this, I have this group right now, I'm reading. And uh, at the same time, like me and my dad, we, we planned on doing a project here and we kind of put in the groundwork for that. So uh, we are, we're kind of building that project, so. Uh, uh, talk to us about your future goals as an actor. Uh, what would you like to achieve in five years as an actor? We all have dreams. Uh, we have, all have goals. And uh, I just want to raise the bar high. I mean, I just want to work globally. I just want to work internationally, internationally as an actor. So if that means me getting the chance to work in Hollywood, that would be great. But to me, I want to, I want to, I want to study the craft of acting. At the same time, I would love to work with people who would give me the opportunity to, to help me grow as an actor. At the same time, I would like to do something of my own. I would like to use the skills and all the uh, knowledge that I had. I would like to share that, and I would like to ultimately do something of my own, and uh, and uh, could be a play. I would like to write something, or like maybe a screen project or a stage play. I would like to do something over here in the U.S. at the same time, do something over in Sri Lanka too. So I would like to put that, keep that in mind and looking for like opportunities, opportunities to work in, uh, in the future. That concludes our news edition. We meet you again with another news edition of News, Views and Entertainment from Boston and USA. Till then, 
Goodbye.